The Fairfield City Farm has been sponsored by the Fairfield City Council for many years. It has been a boon to children, to overseas visitors and locals alike. All the people there are highly skilled, very entertaining and able to make <laughs> visitors feel quite at home. <laughs> Scissors, they pretty much are a big pair of scissors, but these things here, they're what we call blades. Now the blade shearing record, or the most amount of sheep that anyone's ever shorn using the blades is 321 merino sheep. Now that was sent back in 1892 by Mr Jackie Howe. Now these days we don't use the blades, we use this machine over here, and it's what we call a mechanical handpiece. Now you'll see up the top we've got the motor there, then up here. That's the handpiece there, and all you have to do is you pull the cord, and away you go. So it's a lot easier to use than the old blades. Now if you could shear 321 sheep using the blades, how many sheep do you think you could shear using the machine? In one day, there, 113 sheep. Using the machine. Alright. Now we go around here. We've got all the girls over this side today. Here we go. Let me see who's the lucky lady today. Oh, there she is. Ah, yeah, you're going to wait to say hello. That's no worries. And you can see the sheep that sits down in still because we keep all the sheep's feet off the ground. So long as you keep all their feet off the ground, most of the time we don't have too much trouble. Now we just sit up around this way, come here, Barbara. That's the way. You can sit up there. Now over the years we've tried many different ways to get the wool off the sheep. It always comes back to this way here. Now we're just way up. A year ago, all year round in the morning. But by the time Christmas Eve is done there, we're reversing our way right down through the South Wales the Victoria Now because we do here, all year round in Australia, we use all the types of beautiful conditions. Some temperatures are going be from 40 degrees Celsius right down to the sub zero temperatures of the mountain winters down and down. That first bit of water we got off the ship is what we call the belly wool. Not be a tree wool, it comes off the belly of the sheep. Now we keep that wool separate for the main sleeve. So the first thing we say, get the mask to read at once, take those views of dedication and training. Now every year the sheep should cut it in, make the tin key like the wool. And with that wool, I'll send it to the manufacturer, that'll be enough to make a nice quality suit. Now you'll see the junk bag, so maybe even 40 to 50 pairs of socks.
if you know the wool keeps growing, and it's like your hair, you've got to get a haircut, otherwise your hair gets really long. Okay, so that's why we've got a shear on. Yes? Because it hurt me, that's pretty sore here. <laughs> on the sheep, no, come on. Oops. That's the way, huh? There you go. How does she look? The dog's gone. He wants to be a sheep, so. Mm -hmm. Don't get on the drum, Vic. I'm watching you. You've got a bit of wood too, isn't it? Get out. Give a wave. Wave. Come on, wave. Hello, wave. Off the wave. That's a bit of an effort, this one. Off the wave. Wave. Come on. Come on over. Enjoy a great day with visitors or family at Fairfield City Farm.